If backing the boat down the ramp or getting the caravan into that tight spot is a little bit nerve-wracking for you, the following few pointers should help make life a little easier. If possible, always try to start with the car and trailer in a straight line. If the vehicle's nice and straight and the trailer's pointing back to where you want to go, you've got a better chance of getting it in first turn. If the trailer is smaller than the car or can't easily be seen in the mirrors, enlist some help. But be sure to sort out how you'll communicate with your helper before you begin. It's best to use your mirrors when reversing so you can still see the nose of the car. If that doesn't work, look out the window, but be mindful of what the nose might hit. Locate your trailer in the mirrors. If you see too much trailer in one mirror, turn the wheel towards that mirror to straighten. If you see too much in the other mirror, simply turn the wheel the other way. Of course, you don't need to swerve all over the place. You can just go straight on in. Once you have the same amount of the trailer in each mirror, you're heading straight backwards. To turn a corner, you need to turn the wheel the opposite way to which you want to go. Now, it might sound pretty simple, but if you want to go left, turn right. If you want to go right, turn left. So let's just have a look at how that works. So turning the wheel to the left, boat's hooking around to the right. Turning the wheel to the right, boat hooks around to the left. It really is quite a simple philosophy. Ease the wheel back to centre to follow the trailer back to a straight line or tighten the wheel to tighten the turn. If you turn too far, you can jackknife the trailer. If you sense this is about to happen, pull forward and try again. And remember, so you're not holding people up at the boat ramp or embarrassing yourself in front of a crowd, it's a great idea to get some practice in a big empty space on a weekend. Practice as many times as you can to get it right.